The best way to prevent a software security issue is by starting with security from the very beginning. To do security effectively, it's not an activity that you can just bolt on to the end of the process. If you do that, you're going to be missing a substantial amount of potential issues. So first recommendation that I always have is to think security from the very beginning. The second is to build in a Swiss cheese approach where you have multiple different layers that are all checking different things so that by the time the code actually makes it into production, it's gone through so many different ways, so many different tests that you're going to catch 90, 95, 99% of all the possible security issues, just part of the process. Now, security is an ever evolving game. It's always a cat and mouse game. So second recommendation is to accept the fact that you are always gonna be behind and be able to work with software developers that are keeping up with the trends, being able to understand what are the different areas, what are the different attack vectors that are coming out? Because if you don't, if you're working with a company that you know maybe has a lax security understanding, you're really putting your top line at risk. The third is to understand zero trust architecture. There's a lot of different YouTube videos, a lot of different tutorials, there's a lot of different companies that offer consulting specifically on zero trust architecture. The best way to think about it, it's the difference between developing software on-prem where you can make assumptions about firewalls always being there, about network security always being there about, well, well, maybe I'll just hard code this password here and nobody's gonna see it. As Soon as you move that to the cloud, all those assumptions go out the window. You need to make sure that you're doing network level security, potentially even partitioning your IP space to make sure that you're not having connectivity between servers in different environments. You wanna make sure that you have a secure way of storing secrets as well as retrieving secrets. You wanna put all these things in place rolling back to my first point, from the very beginning, if you can architect with security in mind, that is going to set you up for success when your code is in production.